When we view portrait format images on a screen, sometimes they can lack a little impact when compared to a landscape. They're lost in the space just a bit. To overcome this, one way is to display your portrait image multiple times on the page. Use up more of the space. So here we have that 3-2 image opened up into the objects and animation screen. I want to use this image first as a background. To do that, we're in the properties tab. I'm going to go to the fit mode here, change that to cover. Then in the animation tab, I'm going to add a degree of blur and a degree of opacity to taste. Once I've done that, I'm going to click into the bottom right corner then right click and add a frame. Within the frame, I'm going to add a child of the parent frame by right clicking, add an image, and I want exactly the same image. Now I'm going to add a little bit of style to this. So I'm going to drop the size down a little bit. I may want to add a little bit of rotation to the image. something like that. In the properties tab I'll add a border, maybe not quite as big as that, let's drop that to 20, that looks a little better, and a drop shadow. Even though we can't see the drop shadow very well here, we will when we apply this to other images. While we're in the properties, I'm going to select that background that we blurred and just change the name just so we can identify that one easily against the others. Now I need to add the same image again twice in exactly the same way as the first, then adjust the size and position for a nice balanced presentation. Now this is something like what I had in mind, but we're all going to choose something different. Now I want to hold the control key, select all three of those otter pictures, and on the left hand side do the same thing and select all three of the keyframes because I want to drag them in somewhere around about three seconds. It's not critical but somewhere around about that point. Going back over to the right hand side I'm going to click into that bottom right corner and just select the image that's in the center. Coming back to the keyframe right click clone a the keyframe then I'm going to move that to the start because between these two keyframes we've got to decide what animation we're going to have. To keep this quick and simple with the first keyframe I'm just going to move my image up out of the frame and allow it to drop in. We could do a lot more but let's keep things simple. One thing to remember though for all of these starting keyframes we need to select a speed. In the pan zoom and rotate. Even though we're only panning here, I'm going to add this to all of them. Slow down. Bringing my cursor down to the bottom left corner, I can click play and we get an idea of exactly what we're going to get. Now I need to do exactly the same with the other two pictures, but perhaps with these, this image can come from the left just off screen and this one could come from the right. But the procedure is identical, not forgetting those speed options. Let's take a look at a full screen preview of just what this looks like. And of course we can easily save what we've created here as a slide style. As you'll see, I've added the same animation to a second image, so you can see how they would change from one to another. Once the style is made, of course, we can easily make derivatives of the original. The frame we created to be a parent of our three child images can be used to animate all three images on or off the screen as a group. There's a couple of examples here off screen. Once we have the basic animation made, then we can change the presentation effects, saving each variation as a separate slide style. When we have a number of similar slide styles created, they can be included in a theme. I'll provide these styles as a download. Feel free to use them as they are, 
or make your own derivatives from them. Now we can also introduce artwork into our presentations, including textures, backgrounds, and a lot more. And we're not restricted to just three images, of course. I'll see you next time.